hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. It's Anonymous T. Hope you're having an amazing day today. So today we are talking more about the fallout of the TJ Holmes and AB Robach scandal because they're taking off the air, you guys. They are taking off the air as of this morning because obviously the block got too hot. Obviously, in the you F around and find out news, it does not end well you guys it just does simply not end well so what are we talking about what is the latest so this morning according to page six amy robach and tj holmes are taken off the air by abc news chiefs amid a fair scandal gm3 anchors amy robach and tj holmes have been taken off the air amid their bombshell fair scandal abc news president kim kim goodwin announced monday during an internal call that the pair would not host their daily 1 p.m show Goodwin told staffers on the call that the alleged affair had become too much of an internal and external distraction. She said, after a lot of thought, I am taking Amy and TJ off the air as we figure this out. Goodwin added that while their alleged affair was not a violation of company policy, the decision to take them out of their anchor chairs was necessary for the, quote, GMA brand. Stephanie Ramos and Gio um, Benitez will host GMA3 on Monday, while further internal meetings take place at the network about how to handle the scandal. The anchors for the rest of the week are still to be decided. Multiple sources told Page Six that the alleged affair has not gone down well with top GMA anchor Robin Roberts, who is not only very religious, but also doesn't like this kind of scandal tainting the show. Page Six reported that Robin 62 had confronted Robach and Holmes about the affair. An insider told us Roberts pulled them both aside and basically said, stop it. Robach and Holmes' relationship was outed last week after the pair was spotted meeting at bars near ABC's Midtown Studios, and it is believed that Holmes and Robach's Mobax could have begun as early as the spring, though other sources close to the anchors insist on the affair beginning in August when they separated from their respective spouses, Marley and Andrew Shu. A ref for ABC News declined to comment. Daily Mail was first to report the, mo the news on Monday, you guys. Uh, so I have a little bit of a reaction to this. Um, a couple of things. Robin Roberts runs the show at ABC, but I find it interesting that she's using the religion excuse because technically um, the core audience that GMA and these morning shows, you know, cater to is more so your conservative middle, middle America housewives, which their religious beliefs do not support, you know, the LGBTQIA community, you guys. Um, and it took Robin Roberts several years for her to come out that she was even gay, you guys. This is like recent news. Um, so this is not something that, you know, it was made public over the course of her career. She was well established in her career before we even knew officially that she was even a lesbian, you guys. Um, so that is number one. Number two, I think ABC was okay with keeping TJ and Amy on the air until Friday's news came out, you guys. And what happened on Friday? Friday's news was that TJ's wife was blindsided and that they were working on their marriage until this affair was exposed. Friday's news also exposed that there was a second affair that TJ Holmes had with a second co-worker at GMA3 that was a producer for three years that basically opens the door for an investigation to possibly possible lawsuits, possible Me Too situations because now there's a pattern and now potentially there could be more female staffers that TJ Holmes may have gotten involved with that we may not even know about that could come to light. And so as a result, the Friday show got taped on Thursday, so we wouldn't have known until after Friday or early Monday this morning of what ultimately the decisions were going to be on TJ and Amy. And it didn't help matters that TJ and Amy were kind of laughing about this and mocking the situation. And, you know, TJ's talking about joking. He wants this to go on and on and on forever. No, 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 no. You don't want this to go on and on forever. And I think also initially, you know, had there not been an additional affairs come out, 
Had there not been, you know, the reveal and the alleged rumor that Amy possibly could have been, you know, having an affair with Matt Lauer allegedly as well, and possibly there might be more pieces and articles coming out about potential other affairs that Amy has had over the course of her career uh, that could be exposed as well. The problem now is you have an integrity and character issue, right? Because it is not out of the norm for you know people obviously to hook up with their co-workers right that is not something that is new information it happens all the time whether you are a public figure or not uh what tends to happen especially in these type of spaces is you spend a lot of hours you know with some of these people a lot more time than you do at home with your own family and you start to get closer you start to have things in common and things happen the problem is when you are public figures like this delivering the news and you also have to talk about some complicated and um integrity related issues on not just you know everyday news but also what's going on in the realm of celebrity news and pop culture and how can you be speaking on the me too movement and speaking about other people's affairs and cheating scandals meanwhile you're sitting up there at the front desk being co-host having an own affair you know that you guys are basically putting in everybody's face and it was all well and good until everybody else found out last week of what it was you guys but had they not been so smug about this and had this been the only affair that was exposed, I think, honestly, TJ and Amy will be on the air still. I honestly think they still would have been on the air. I think the additional affairs being exposed um, with an additional co-worker as well as TJ and Amy's history of both cheating on their spouses and both cheating um, with their current spouses is not moving the needle, right? It's not moving the needle. Amy Robach tried to sell this romantic story, this love story that they had only been separated from their spouses since August. And some people believe that that's not true, you guys. Some people believe that is not true and robin roberts runs the show there at abc so she was not having any of this and i think her concerns were addressed and kim goodwin got on top of it right now the question is going to be ultimately after this suspension how long is this going to be right is tj and amy going to be off the air for the rest of the year and then they're hoping the smoke blows over um and then they can start anew in 2023 are they going to be suspended for maybe a couple weeks or so and then they might do some shows around the holidays is are they going to be you know reworked right is amy going to be at gma3 and are they going to move tj holmes to a different division or will amy still you know just be on you know 2020 and that sort of thing and tj would just be on gma3 right so there's all types of, you know, speculation on what it's going to be. I think ultimately when it comes down to it, if ABC had to choose, they would choose Amy obviously over TJ. Um, but it's just, it's just messy. And now the problem is, you know, their reputations are done. The problem is, you know, how this is going to move forward with their careers because their careers basically are tainted, right? And it was just so messy and scandalous of how everything came out. And this was dumb, you know, as well. I don't think this was thought all the way through as well, um, because obviously people were upset and there were obviously private investigators and things of that nature to expose this fair. And I'm sure, you know, Amy's husband is cackling behind the scenes because their divorce was supposed to be finalized. And so now I'm sure possibly there could be some things reworked to where maybe he can you know negotiate a lower divorce settlement um in that you know this exposure of this affair as their divorce is being finalized but i don't know how this divorce is going to go with tj and his wife you guys because he's not making that much money you guys um in comparison and i don't know i don't know because if he would have left his wife he he would have you guys if he could afford to leave his wife, he could have, you know? So I don't know ultimately what's going to happen with this TJ situation, right? 
And I don't know if his bag is that secure. He's definitely not making Robin Roberts money. I can tell you that, you guys. And he was brought on at the recommendation of Amy. Amy is the reason that TJ Holmes has this job. But the intricacies of all of this with, you know, the second staffer and the second staffer that TJ had an affair with for three years also being a friend to Amy and then Amy, you know, being a friend to TJ's wife and then going out on double dates only for her to turn around and have an affair with TJ herself, it's just not looking good, right? But I think the messy way ABC handled this by initially saying that they were not going to do anything and that nobody was going to lose their jobs and that they would still be on the air without all of the facts coming out, they opened themselves up to some issues as well because it sounds like there might have been some internal debate on what to do and nobody ultimately was on the same page and this sounds like a very last minute decision because of the additional stories that came out as well as the backlash you guys so i am not surprised at all that this happened um it's just a matter of where do we go from here and how long are they going to be out the air i think initially abc was probably looking at the potential ratings increase to see how the chemistry between tj and amy was going to be on the air but i think ultimately they were looking at the big picture and looking at all the potential money that they're getting from ad revenue and um, different partnerships that they have with different brands and looking at their core middle america you know married mom you know single mom home um you know homemaker watching these shows and not, you know, thinking that this is going to ultimately go over well and that people are going to have an issue listening to the news, listening to people present things and trying to present a family type of show, a show that's trying to intrigue a certain demographic, a certain audience, only for the people delivering the news to have a messy scandal themselves. And that's why they always say in journalism, you know, you're not supposed to be the news, you're supposed to be reporting the news, right? So this definitely is not over, you guys. We still are definitely going to have some more fallout. And it's going to be a matter of time of whether or not additional affairs get exposed and how far this goes at ABC, you guys. But that is the latest that TJ Holmes and Amy are pulled off the air, you guys, as of this morning. So we will not see GMA3. And also, I have to say, this is ABC's karma, you guys. This is ABC's karma because, number one, they were too cheap to continue the soap operas All My Children and One Life to Live, you guys. This is the reason, right? These um, talk shows were supposed to be the replacement of soap operas because they were, quote, cheaper to produce, right? They were cheaper to produce than paying your veteran soap actors, right? So we had the true, we had all these different talk shows. And remember, we had the um, original, you know, talk show with uh, Michael Strahan and Kiki Palmer and so forth, right? And you know, they obviously redirected that. They changed up on that as well, right? So this is their karma for thinking that we want to see a million TV shows on all of these networks over soap operas, you guys. But ultimately, this drama alone is better than any current storylines that's taking place on any of the soap operas. And one final thing, I think a lot of people are going to bring up Joe and Mika's, you know, secret relationship and everything else at MSNBC. I think the thing is, they already had an established show together, right? And their affair was basically hidden for a very long time before it ultimately got exposed, you guys. Um, not to even say that their situation is better or not better in comparison, but this whole handling and how this got leaked out was very sloppy and it was very obvious that at least one of the spouses hired a private investigator because they were suspecting something was not right and as a result of that i think somebody else was scorned and was like listen i have tea on some of these other things that tj and amy have done and i'm going to expose it so that didn't help matters and now you have like i said a character an integrity issue and you know possible conduct that's detrimental to the company as well as future advertisement and ratings and so forth right so there is that but let me know what you guys think about this what do you guys think about um amy and tj being taken off the air for abc do you think it's going to be temporary do you think they're both done at abc do you think one of them still may end up staying at abc when it is all said and done i am curious to hear your guys's comments and you know see what you guys think
did ABC handle this wrong? Did ABC wait too late? Should ABC have immediately suspended TJ and Amy as news of this affair until they had all of the facts? Or was all of this sloppy and messy and as a result kind of, you know, leaves a sour taste in people's mouths, right? Because remember, initially they said nothing was going to happen. But that was until additional articles came out that, again, you know, basically obliterated the character of TJ and Amy and did not make matters, you know, any better. So there is that. But let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.